what is going on guys and welcome back to another video today the talent is back on the channel most of you probably know this but if you do not know this i only run distilled water as coolant in my car during the winter i have to put coolant in it so it doesn't freeze the reason i do that is in case i have to tear it apart coolant is expensive distilled water is a dollar a gallon so that's my reasoning behind it. It gets down to very cold here in Minnesota, so we need to fill it with coolant and get it all run through so that it doesn't freeze. So this is going to be a slightly cold start. It's about, I'd say 40, 42 degrees right now. Typically it's on E85 right now. It is on 92 or 93 octane BP pump gas with a little bit of E85 still left in it. We're gonna see how cold starts. First off, we gotta get some coolant in it. So I just went and picked up the coolant and some more distilled water. Let's go ahead and get that filled up, started up, and get it running. Okay, so now that that is full, gotta get this jack down. There we go. I still only have the small PC680 battery, which is going to come out of this thing today after I get it running. Uh, I really hope it's going to start this car. It's been sitting for not quite a month, but almost a month. And it was really, really cold last week. I cranked it over just a teeny little bit before this and it sounds good. This car typically does pretty good on cold starts. I think we hit like negative two. So, uh, well, let's see what happens. So that has no fast idle air control, so it is all by my foot. Uh, that's why it's kind of hard to get this thing to idle. I have to literally do it until it'll be warm enough to idle itself, and then it usually takes off and it's just fine, as you can see right now. But even now, it's still kind of trying to die because it's still cold. into this car after you know messing with the eclipse so much 
and if you guys watched the last video, I took it for a drive to the gas station, and that was literally about 20 minutes ago, maybe maybe 30 minutes ago. So that was the last DSM I was in, and it was very recent. So starting this thing up again, when it first fired up, it was like, whoa, this thing is loud. It's aggressive. It's uh, very different from a stock 13B Auto 1G. So kind of interesting, kind of cool. Because this is the only thing that I've ever really known is like kind of more built DSMs, so it's cool to go back and forth. Take a little peek. We really got some things moving around in there. That's good. Let that get nice and hot. Make sure it all blows through. Let it idle for a few minutes. I will shut her back down. One of the best ways that I've found to burp the cooling system in one of these, press on the radiator hose a little bit, basically bring it up to the top. You can watch the bubbles come down. And you just kind of keep giving it more and more pressure. I'm pretty much pressed in all the way. So I'm going to put a little bit more in and then I'll just keep doing that. Alrighty, well there we go. I feel a little bit better about that. So we got a little spot of oil leaking. Now for the part I'm not huge on about the PC680 battery. You gotta take it out. It's just, it's not a great spot to be taken out. It really isn't. So, alright, well, let's get it out. Don't mind all the water on the floor. I spilled when I was draining the water out of it and it literally is just water. Now the battery's out of it. I'm not gonna bother putting anything back together cause it's not like the car's gonna run without the battery in it. But I feel, yeah, a lot better about having coolant in this thing. In the meantime, Matthew's working on a snowblower and uh, the Eclipse runs. I almost ran over all my tools when I backed it in last time. Well, that is going to be it for this video. Been at the shop a while now and uh, kind of ready to be done messing around with the cars. So thanks for watching. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.